Eaton Park is a local restaurant chain that opened in 1949. Thank you for your suggestion. Can I have a shake? I bet I know what Sarah's getting. Spaghetti. My usual. Can I have another straw? Mmm, chicken looks good. You forgot to cut napkins. Must be good. Everybody's quiet. Like a little fries with your ketchup. Good. Every dinner at Eaton Park comes with cozy seats, warm smiles, and for whoever's buying, a special after-dinner treat. I could get real used to this. When the franchise opened its doors in 1949, Eaton Park made history as Pittsburgh's first restaurant with car hops. The brainchild of Isley's restaurant executive, Larry Hatch, Eaton Park took advantage of the leading post-war consumer luxury, the automobile. Mr. Hatch knew the Pittsburgh area needed a restaurant to capture the spirit of the times and took the innovative approach of reversing the then popular restaurant phrase, park and eat, to the catchy Eaton Park name, which worked. Customers dined in their cars or inside the tiny 13-seat restaurant located on Route 51 in the South Hills, while 10 bustling car hops served them. Just six hours into their opening day, the busy restaurant caused a major traffic jam on Saw Mill Run Boulevard and had to briefly close its doors to regroup. Eaton Park, one of the area's first car hop restaurants, was soon a smash hit. Four months later, a second restaurant opened to keep up with the demand of hungry Pittsburghers. Hatch had gotten his idea for a car hop restaurant when he had been on a trip to Cincinnati. Hatch was impressed seeing the Fritch's Big Boy drive-in operation. He and his partner Bill Peters contacted Big Boy founder Bob Wyan reaching a 25-year agreement to operate big boy restaurants in the Pittsburgh area, which would be operated under the name of Eaton Park, not Hatch's Bob's Big Boy. In addition to the car hop service, Eaton Park featured items from the big boy menu, including the big boy burgers, by means of a franchise agreement. During the 1950s, the restaurant was a hangout for teenagers and a cruising destination. In its first 11 years, Eaton Park became a chain boasting 27 restaurants. The first large dining room opened in Ambridge in 1957. Eaton Park restaurants were once synonymous with the Big Boy, a double burger sandwich. In fact, the burger looks a lot like a Big Mac, doesn't it? Actually, the Big Mac was inspired by, or some would say copied, by Jim Delegati, the Pittsburgh area franchisee for McDonald's and one of Ray Kroc's first franchisees. He would invent what would eventually become the Big Mac in the kitchen of Delegati's first McDonald's franchise. The Big Mac was designed to compete with the Big Boy Hamburger Eaton Park, which was offering it at the time. By the early 1960s, the car hop service was on the decline, and fast food restaurants like McDonald's was increasing in popularity and number. In response, Eaton Park reformed its image by decreasing its number of car hops and expanding its menu and seating capacity. By 1965, there were 30 restaurants, and two years later, Eaton Park introduced its automated order-taking machines. The 1970s was a transformative period for Eaton Park. In 1971, the famous car hop service was phased out in favor of in-store dining. In 1973, they introduced the first children's menu, first hostess service, and first modern-sized restaurant. In 1974, Eaton Park allowed their 25-year Big Boy franchise agreement to expire. The affiliation with Bob's Big Boy ended in 1975. The Big Boy Burger would be renamed the Super Burger. 
The non-renewal of the Big Boy Agreement eventually allowed Eaton Park to expand into areas licensed to other Big Boy franchises. Eaton Park expanded into Northeast Ohio and into West Virginia. By 1977, Eaton Park began offering round-the-clock service, with some locations staying open 24 hours. By the following year, they also introduced the Soup and Salad Bar. Released in 1982, a Christmas tradition in the Pittsburgh region began with the airing of an animated Eaton Park commercial that shows a Christmas star named Sparkle struggling to reach the top of a Christmas tree until the tree bends over to help the star up. The commercial supports a charity at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. The commercial is so popular that Eaton Park has re-aired the ad every year since, starting in late November. In 1986, Eaton Park introduced their iconic smiley cookies for kids visiting the restaurants. It got its start as a humble cookie in their first bakery and would soon become an official icon of Eaton Park, the place for smiles. Now millions of smiley cookies are enjoyed by their guests every year and Smiley himself spreads the love at more than 250 community events annually. In 1990, Sparkle, the Eaton Park star, was trademarked by Eaton Park, but was abandoned two years later in favor of their more famous mascot. The founder, Larry Hatch, would pass away in 1998 at the age of 91. At the time, there were 70 locations. In 2004, Smiley Cookies became available for sale online. Today, Eaton Park currently serves Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and Northern West Virginia. The company has closed some of their locations in Pennsylvania and Ohio due to low sales. Currently, there are around 57 locations that are still serving their famous food. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.